Hi everybody, Jacques here. Someday again, another week has passed. I don't know how it's been for you, but it feels like a really long time ago that it was Sunday, just a week ago. For me anyway, and I guess probably for all of you as well, this staying at home and not going to school and not being able to be with our friends and playing, it isn't getting any easier. To me, it seems anyway, it's getting harder every day. And I'll bet it's the same for you too. So I was thinking back when I was a little boy, if I had any experiences that were anything like what we're all experiencing right now, we didn't have anything like a virus that was going around that forced us all to stay home day after day and week after week. But I was thinking about the vacations that I would take with my family. We'd all pack into the car, my mother and father, my younger sister and I. I had two older brothers, but they were already out of the home and so didn't join us on these vacations. So we'd pack into the car and we'd excitedly head off to wherever we were going on that particular year. And it wasn't too far on our trip when I would start getting kind of antsy and bored and start asking my mother or father, are we there yet? How much longer is it? And at first they would answer, well, we have five more hours to go, two or 300 more miles. But after about the 10th or 20th time of asking, are we there yet? Is it almost over? They would get frustrated and annoyed with my sister and I. And pretty soon, everybody was upset and not too happy. My parents couldn't make the trip go any faster. It was just going to take as long as it took. Well, being a little boy sitting in that car with not much to do, it wasn't a very pleasant experience. And I really, really, really wanted it to be over. And after a while, I would start annoying my sister. When she wasn't looking, I'd give her a pinch or a poke and she'd get upset. She'd tell me to stop and if I didn't stop, she'd say, mommy, tell him to stop, make him stop. And once again, the whole car would be in an uproar. Everybody talking at once and very angry and frustrated. Not a very pleasant time. Well, I guess this week's probably been a little bit like that for you. Getting kind of tired of being inside, stuck at home with just your family, feeling bored, not knowing what to do, wondering, is it time yet? When will this all be over? Well, I don't have any better answer than your parents do. None of us really know when this is going to be over when we can get back to being at school and being with our friends, playing in the playground and having play dates. But I can tell you it will be over. We all wish, and nobody more than me, that we could make it be over right now. And that this very day we could go back to Lone Mountain and get back to all the fun things that we do together there. But more important today and for this next week, than being at Lone Mountain and having fun together is that we all stay safe. Just like we say at Lone Mountain, the most important thing that happens every day is that we all stay safe. So being at home with just your family, that's what we need to do right now in order to all stay safe. So try to be kind if you have brothers and sisters, don't poke and pinch and tease them like I did with my sister. Try to remember, this isn't only hard for you, it's hard for your parents too. We all wish this would be over. And it was all finished. Well, try to have a good day. I know it's a rainy weekend and it may not allow you even to go out in your yard or go for a walk like you have been doing, but try to find something fun to do. You all have wonderful imaginations. Maybe you could set up some chairs in your bedroom and pretend that you were the teacher at Lone Mountain. But remember, no sitting in the jockey baby chair. Uh-uh-uh. All right. 
Well, we'll talk to you again. Love you all, miss you, and I know your teachers do too. Bye-bye.